you're a content creator, then you know that for the longest time, video editing has taken the longest time. But not anymore. After working with more than 1 million content creators, we decided to simplify the video editing process. We've upgraded PodCastle's record, edit, and publishing tool to also edit long and short form videos in minutes. To start, go to podcastle.ai and log into your account. Before we can begin editing, we need some footage. Now, if you recorded outside of PodCastle, like out of your phone, camera, or webcam, you can upload these files right to the editor. But let's say you haven't recorded yet. Jump on into your virtual recording studio or begin a pre-scheduled recording under the recording planner. Name your recording so you can easily find it later. Enter in your details, select your headphones, and click Enter Studio. The recording process is super simple. Just click record and say whatever it is you want the world to hear. And if you have a script, don't forget to use the teleprompter tool located in the bottom right hand corner. It's important to stress that while recording, you're not looking for perfection, but for authenticity. All of the awkward stutter spells, all the awkward pauses can be edited out with the help of Podcastle Magic, which we'll show you in a little bit. Because right now, your only job is to express yourself and to connect with your audience. And once you're done, stop the recording, confirm your selection, and wait for your video to upload to the cloud. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. Editing your video, AI enhancements, and even making short clips and reels. To begin editing your new recording, navigate to the Recordings tab and open up the project. Or to edit a video recorded outside of PodCastle or to edit another PodCastle project, navigate over to the video editor and click to upload your file. You can also pop on over to My Files to select a PodCastle project that you'd like to edit. If you haven't already, check out our editing guide for podcast here. They differ a little bit from YouTube videos, so you're gonna wanna check them out. Now, time to edit our YouTube video. First up, let's select the aspect ratio. Now, if you're making a TikTok, a YouTube short, or an Instagram reel, you're probably going to want to use the nine by 16 aspect ratio. As you might notice, changing the aspect ratio will likely move around your video a little bit. So drag it back into place and use the scaling and the positioning tools to place the recording exactly where you want it. For now, I'm gonna edit a long form video, so I'm gonna go back and stick to the 16 by nine. By the way, if you aren't making clips from long videos, learn more about what you're missing out on in this video. Now below the player, you'll see your video on the recording timeline. This is where we'll be doing all of the actual editing. When you're ready, click play or the space bar and find any moments that you don't want to make the final cut. You can resize your timeline using the slider bar and this is super helpful for cutting out tiny errors. Ooh, found one. Use the navigation slider to move just after the mistake, but before the retake. Then split the clip using S on your keyboard, and this will cut everything that came before the mistake into its own clip. Select the individual clip and drag on the sides of the individual clip to trim it down until the error is no longer there and the video flows seamlessly. Repeat this step until all errors are removed. When you're all done, drag your error-free clips so that they snap together and are all touching in one cohesive video. Okay, after a few short minutes and a few quick cuts, we now have a rough cut of the video that runs smoothly and has no outtakes. Now, if you're just looking for a simple video, you can export it here as is and publish it straight to YouTube. But there's plenty more that the podcast will can do to make this video really special. Besides, we haven't even gotten to the fun AI part yet. For now, let's start with text and subtitles. Now, podcast has a wide range of different text styles available, but for now, we're just going to keep it super simple and add my name for a few seconds at the beginning of the video. I've selected the text style I want, and now I'm just going to drag it over to this far left side of the screen, and I'm going to adjust the size just a little bit. We can see the text that I've added is now available on my bottom timeline right here. Everything's in the right place, but I only want it available for a few seconds. To change the text duration, I'll first zoom in on my timeline and then adjust the blue bars here for the length of time that I want the text to appear. Right now, it's appearing for five seconds. I'm going to extend both to 10 seconds, and this text will now appear in the bottom screen for the first 10 seconds of my video. You can customize the text even more by selecting it and navigating to the style section. Here, you can adjust the fill, stroke, 
background, shadow, and even adjust the opacity. And if you decide you're looking for a different style, just click the trash can icon to delete to start right over again. And keep in mind that this applies to anything on the timeline. And adding in subtitles is even easier. Just click the subtitles box, select the clip you wish to transcribe, indicate your language, select your style, and click generate. After a few moments, Podcastle's AI will have worked its magic and you'll have stylish, easy to read subtitles that will make your video accessible to anyone. Before we hop into the audio editing features, let's quickly add the Podcastle logo to the bottom right corner of the screen. Now the easiest way to do this is to click the add media right on your timeline and upload your image. All right, now since this is a logo, we want it to be visible for the entirety of the video. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller, move it to the bottom right hand corner, I'll zoom out on my editor and stretch the logo so that it appears for the entirety of the recording. With just the visual editing alone, there's so much freedom in what you can do. You can overlay relevant clips to help make your point, you can add memes, or you can even reduce the opacity of your recording and add in a fiery hell story because you wanna show just how passionate you are. Now dynamic transitions are coming soon and these will allow your added text and your effects to phase in and fade out. So just add that extra layer of polish to your content. And the audio editing features are just as easy to use. Select the clip you want to edit, then click audio on the right-hand side of your video player. You have the option to increase the volume or add fade-ins and fade-outs for dramatic flair. We're almost ready to publish this video, but there's one, actually, there's two things we need to do. Visual AI enhancements in our video editing tool and short clips for TikTok, Reels, and YouTube Shorts. First, there's the AI Video Enhance feature. Now this instantly grants you with higher video quality, fewer video artifacts, and reduced gain. Next up is the AI Eye Contact button. Now this corrects your gaze to make sure you're focused on the audience the entire time without making it look creepy. Finally, there's a cinematic blur. This can make even the cheapest videos look like they were shot on a film set. Just toggle on the AI effects of your choice and click apply enhancements. And that's just for visuals. Our team has taken the same great audio AI tools from our podcast editor like Magic Dust, Noise Reduction, and Auto Leveling and reworked them for traditional content. So you can sound and look your best. You can find out more about how to use those AI tools right here. And we're not stopping there. We're almost ready to reveal new tools like automatic background remover, AI retouch, and our AI generated short form clip maker. That last one there lets you generate AI generated short form content just with the click of a button. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Now, time to publish. To do this, select export in the top right hand corner of the screen. Select the resolution you want to export in, but note that exporting in higher resolutions, as well as using those fantastic AI tools I just mentioned, are limited to the Podcastle Pro plan. And you can get 50% off your first month of Podcastle Pro with the promo code right in that description below. Soon, Podcastle will be releasing updates for the new video editor that allows you to create thumbnails and descriptions on Podcastle and publish directly to YouTube. Time to click export and allow Podcastle to render your magnum opus. Once your project is done rendering, just click download and you're done. Congrats, it's ready to upload on YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reels, really anywhere you want. Say hi to Mr. Beast when you make it to the top. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you can learn about our latest tools and features as soon as they're ready.